Deno Mongo is a MongoDB driver for our Deno application, so we can connect up to the database. Let's jump in and have a look at it. We can find Deno Mongo on the official library of Deno third party packages, and it's just called Deno underscore Mongo. I'll link them in the description below. But in order to get it up and running, all we need to do is import it. There are some basic requirements though, so we will need to pass the minimum flags of allow net, allow write, and allow read with the unstable flag. But other than that, we should be able to test it out and give it a shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this over into our own VS Code project, and I'm gonna connect up to one of my own databases to see if it works. To import the package, we're gonna import the Mongo client from Deno land with the Mongo version over here. This will be subject to change as there is newer versions, but we'll just use the latest. Next, we'll want to create a new client. And in order to be able to do that, we're going to pass in const client and we're going to create and generate a new Mongo client over here. Then we're going to connect the client up to a URL. Now the URL in this case is localhost and if you're running a localhost MongoDB server then this should work. I already have one up and running but if you guys don't have MongoDB installed you can just head over to MongoDB and you can download and run a local instance of it. So that's just at mongodb.com. But otherwise, let's jump in and have a look at the next part of this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to copy over the DB and the user section here, and we're gonna paste this in. Now, I've got my own database here called testing, and I've got a collection called users. So we're gonna reuse that. Then we're going to find a single user to start off with. And this is very similar to how you normally search for things, such as in Moon Mongoose. And here we're just going to find in a single user. We're going to run find one with an await command here. And here I'm going to search up for a username. And this username here will just be Adrian. This should get us back some results. So I'm going to console log out those results. And hopefully we should see my user pop up. Now we're going to have to run this Deno application a little bit differently. We're going to have to allow all these flags, which include net, write, read, and allow plugin, as well as the unstable commands. So let's pass all of these in. And in here, we'll pass in the application file name, which is just index.js. I'm gonna run that and I can see that immediately we actually got back our results here. So I can see that my object here from Mongo has actually been retrieved with all of the syntax available. So that's really cool. So what I can do now is I can actually have a look at some of the other functions that we can do here with Mongo because it's not just searching results. We can also insert a user. So let's give that a shot. To create a new user, we're going to run a command here to add a new user. And to do this, we're going to call users as a collection and we're gonna do insert one. And in here we can add some properties such as a username. Now in this case, I might do the username as new user testing just to keep it nice and simple. We're also going to await this to occur, so we'll save that here. And this time when we save our user, we'll be able to search them as well. So in here, I'm going to pass in the username as new test user, and we'll see if we can pull that in from find one. Let's save that and we'll rerun our application in here and we'll just follow in the syntax and we can see that our user has been added to the database and then we've done a search in our database and we've got a result back. So it looks like that is all working, which is really cool. There are other commands we can also run, such as being able to search multiple users at the same time. And if we have a look at how we run this, it's essentially very similar to the syntax that we normally use for Mongo. So in this case, to grab all the users, we're not using find one on the collection, just find in general. I'm gonna actually remove all of this syntax in general, and let's see how many objects we get returned. So I'm just gonna pass in length in here. And ideally, we should get a number of how many users I have currently in the database. So when I have a look at this, we can see that we got a return of 439 users, which is about right. And it gives us an example of how we could use this command. 
Then Mongo allows us to do a number of other things, such as insert multiple users or do more specific searches, counts, and aggregation using MongoDB. But this is just a general overview of how the MongoDB client works with Deno, and hopefully it should get you up and running. I'm doing videos around Deno and Mongo, as well as development and design in general. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.